Welcome back guys, this is chapter 19, we are going to learn about managing users and groups. In this chapter, we are going to learn about only users and groups, all about how to create the users, how to manage the users, how to create the groups, how to manage the groups. Alright, step by step, we are going to see everything. First of all, let us let me show wherever the configurations of the user and groups will be shown. Okay. Once you create a group, the group information will be shared under etc pass w. This file will have the user informations. All right. The Linux geek is the user I have created, and sysadmin is the user I have created. So these two users are here. We can see the user which I have created is starting with the thousand UAD and GAD. I'll explain it. Okay. The same thing. If I want to know about the group informations, it's, it will be stored under etc group. The group information will be stored in cat etc group. At the same time, the user information will be saved under cat etc pass wd. The same time, where will be the password will be saved. The password created for the user will be saved. It will be under cat etc shadow. The file name is shadow. This file will save the all the password with in encryption format. All right. The you can see the long password which I have created for only the three users in this server. One is for root, and other is for sysadmin, and next one is for Linux geek. Okay. By default, whenever you creating a username in this server in Red Hat Enterprise uh, uh, Linux 7 or in CentOS 7 or in Oracle Enterprise Linux 7 when I, whenever you are going to create a user the user ID and the group ID will be started from 1000 below 1000 0 to 999 will be reserved for the system users okay let me show the example those definitions the normal user and the system user want to be reserved with this range of uh, UAD and GAD will be under etc login.def. This file is defining that uh, a normal user want to be created created from starting 1000 UAD till maximum 60,000. You can create 60,000 users in this server local users okay the same time the group also apply the same with uh, minimum starting from thousand till sixty thousand all right this is the file which defining which uh, which was the uh, user id want to be stored for the new user all right currently i have two users in my server which is locally created one is sysadmin and the other one is Linux Geek. If I am going to create a new one, just I am going to create a, let me show you uh, how to create. Just I am not going to use any options in this, uh, this command. Just I am going to create using user add. Uh, let me create test, okay. The user was added. If I cat the post wd, I can see the UAD will be 1002. See, the 1002 was assigned to this user. If in uh, the same time, if you see in uh, back in rel 6 uh, and rel 5 or in CentOS 5 or in uh, CentOS uh, uh, 6, the whenever you are creating a username, the default username will be assigned between 500 to 1000. Actually, those are not secure. It's a security breach. So better you want to create a username above the thousand. Those the uh, one uh, zero two thousand want to be reserved for the system users. Let me show you how to create a, a username with options. Let me show you how to add a group and then how to add a user. If you are going to perform a manual user creation, you don't want to add the user first. You want to create the group first. For that, group add minus g minus g means minus small g is just you are going to give a group id for that group okay let me use thousand not thousand five thousand 
okay this is my group id and the group name want to be test one all right the group was added let me get the group etc group you can see test one was added with the group id 5000 so it's above thousand now i want to add the user user at minus g sorry minus u minus u for user id minus g for group id okay the same 5000 that is group id minus g but this is user id so it want to be specified with minus u hyphen u 5000 all right so in which group this user want to be added already the group was added so minus g 5000 if i want to add to any other group i can add it the user sysadmin was there so uh, the i want to add to the sysadmin this user the user test one uh, i want to add this test one user to the sysadmin group so how can i do that for that uh, the supplementary group it's the supplementary group so for that i if i want to add a user to the supplementary group i want to mention with hyphen capital g a group id of the sysadmin the sysadmin is thousand i know that so i am typing is thousand all right if you want to mention what the use of the user you can give minus c it's a command okay command this user is admin or anything you can give if you want to mention with the, the default shell will be assigned for any one of the user will come with bin bash if you want to assign with any other uh, shell you can give it uh, same time here I'm using sh okay this user the creating user I want to give with sh shell by default if you are going to create a uh, user it will assign with bin bash you don't want to mention this option minus s will give a shell for that user all right and the username which username the test one okay the user test one was created let me cat the file etc password here you can see the test one and the uid is 5000 and the group id is 5000 and the command this user is user in admin instead of is i have applied with in all right this user in admin the home directory is home test one and the which shell is used for this user all right this linux geek user was added just i have added uh, user add linux geek so it's taking the default shell with bin bash if you want to replace with any other uh, shell you want to specify with minus s option all right so this user test one was created with shell sh now once you created the group and user then you want to create the password for that user for creating a password just type the password command and test one it will ask for the password new password and confirmation password just i am going to give a simple password if i am going to use a bad password it's it's not a strong password so uh, the password which i have used is not a strong password so it will warn you bad password the password is shorter than eight characters i'm using just a six character password so it's showing it's a dictionary password and uh, it's very weak one login to the shell now using uh, this username let me show you that the default shell we can see the shell which i have created is for this user is sh and we can see that i have added uh, i have i am in the test one user and the host name the same machine i am not in any other machine all right here you can see the ip and everything the test one user is added to the sysadmin group you can see here it's in sysadmin group so that the test one user can access all the files in sysadmin group he have the privileges to contribute to his file and his directories all right so if i want to add one more now i want to modify uh, if i want to add linux geek the test one want to be uh, inside the linux geek also so how can i do that 
for uh, modifying a user you can use the command user mod minus g is the primary group of the user that is test one and minus capital g is this supplementary group the secondary groups okay so now i want to add both sysadmin and linux geek to the test one user now if i cat the group information see the test one has been added under sysadmin user group and the same time linux geek group all right but those information will not be reflected under etc password file now i want to change the group id of my test one group okay for that group mode minus g the current one is the current group id of my test one is 5000 so my group id want to be changed to uh, 6000 how can i do that for that group mod minus g 6000 and test one once i use this command the group id of the uh, group group id of the test one will be changed to 6000 same thing we can confirm using the id test one just it will print the user information of the group and the user user information and the group information if not we can cat the password file or we can cat the group information file okay by default whenever you are creating a user it will the home directory of the user will be created under home the username the home test one or test two uh, like this home sysadmin or linux key or test one so if you want to create a user and its home directory want to be in the different location how can i create that for that we can do user add minus d uh, test 5 okay test 5 this will create a username test 5 but his home directory will be on it's under the root test 5 slash test 5 let me list the home here we can't find the newly added users home directory only we have three the old one the currently added test file has been created under root this is the home directory of the test file user okay the bash profile bash history all the files will be created under here if you want to confirm we can cat the file etc password you can see the home directory is test 5 all right thus we can create a customer's home directory for a user here i have created a user test if i want to remove that user i can use the command user del user del hyphen or test if I am using the hyphen or it will remove the home directory including the home directory of the test okay now we have only Linux geek and sysadmin if I am not using the uh, minus or it will not remove the home directory we can locate the home directory under slash home so if you want to keep the files of when you use you are going to remove you can uh, you don't want to use the minus or option if you want to remove all the information about the user uh, home directory his mail and uh, his cron jobs everything you can use the option minus r if you are going to use the minus r it will destroy all the user informations mail informations and your cron jobs all right okay in this tutorial we have seen how to create a user delete a user modify a user same time we have seen that same thing for a group let us see in next tutorial, new tutorial about how to work with the ACLs, access control list. Till then, please subscribe to our channel and watch all the tutorials. Thanks. Thanks for watching.